the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 53, Numbers 22-25 Tension for the Levant countries Balak, the king of Moab, trembled with fear and attempted to curse Israel, but Israel received a greater blessing all the more. First point, 40 years after Exodus, the surrounding countries started fearing the Israel nation. Due to the instant of hitting the rock, Moses was unable to enter the land of Canaan. Nevertheless, Moses went with the Israel nation to the Jordan River and helped Joshua in fighting the war. When Moses and the Israel nation won this war, the Levant region heard of this and started to fear them. This showed how Moses' prayer 40 years ago at Kadesh Barnea came true. When Moses prayed for the people 40 years ago, Moses mentioned God's reputation. Although the Exodus generation was a great disappointment to God, the Manna generation made up for it by becoming a fearful nation of God. Second point the coward behavior of the Amalek tribe and Moab tribe was similar. Forty years ago, when the Israel nation were leaving Egypt, they were chased by the Amalek tribe, and because of this, the weaker people who lagged behind were attacked as well as having their possessions stolen. If the Amalek tribe had been more considerate, they would have helped the Israel nation free themselves from slavery. But the Amalek tribe failed to show kindness and instead did everything they could to satisfy their greed. God punished the Amalek tribe in two segments. The first was by letting Joshua win them. The second was letting Saul win them later. But 40 years since Exodus, the king of Moab showed cowardly behavior. As he was afraid of the Israelites, he cursed them. The reason why God wanted the descendants of Abraham to become holy nations in a kingdom of priests was in order to raise their standards and to ensure that they would not practice such cowardly behavior. Third point. Edom and Moab were able to maintain their land not because of their efforts, but because of God's promise. Even when the Israelites were fighting to take the land of Canaan, Edom and Moab were able to keep theirs. But this was not because of their great power or strategy. The reason they were able to keep their land was because God had given them a promise. Edom was given a promise by God in Genesis that the lands would be given to Esau's descendants, and Moab was able to keep their territory as it had been given to Lot's descendants. Like this, God's principles given through a kingdom of priests was the reason their territories could be kept. Fourth point. There were reasons why Balak's efforts became useless and Balaam's steps became useless. Balak, the king of Moab, tried everything he could to find a strategy when he found out that the Israel nation was approaching. The king of Moab asked Balaam to curse the Israel nation. During this process, God made a donkey speak. In other words, God made the efforts of Balak and Balaam completely useless. Nothing they did or said could have changed the situation. Their behavior was indeed foolish. 
They failed to understand that the whole earth belongs to God. Punishment was also applicable to the Israel nation if they failed to remember this. Fifth point, Phineas worked so hard to the point of arousing jealousy. Balaam tried all that he could to knock down the Israel nation. This was indeed him digging up his own grave. When Balak's scheme failed, Balaam found another way to seduce the people into sin. Most unfortunately, the Israel nation fell into this seduction. God burning in anger sent a plague and killed 24,000 people. But Phineas was a righteous man, and he succeeded in turning the Lord's anger. To Phineas, God said, Phineas, the son of Eliezer, the son of Aaron, the priest, has turned my anger away from the Israelites, since he was as zealous for my honor among them as I am. I did not put an end to them in my zeal. Phineas truly showed that even amidst such a horror, there were few people who worked even harder for God. The group of priests showed further courage during the Battle of Jericho. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible, and he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.